Hello, Dumelang, San Bonani, Molueni, and a warm welcome to the Maths Genius Video Tutorial Series brought to you by SABC Education. In these tutorials, we help you unleash the mathematical genius in you by showing you key mathematical concepts and how you can master them for success like a true genius. Today we'll be talking about simplifying algebraic expressions. So you find that you have to be able to understand what the instructions tell you, say it's in an exam uh, and you're given an algebraic problem. So for example, if a question says solve, you only solve if it's an equation because you're saying that solving is, is evaluating the unknown variable such that your answer will be say x is equal to something. So solve implies there's an equation. But if you've got an expression, right? An expression. An expression won't have an equal sign where you've got a left-hand side and a right-hand side. It's just a statement. That doesn't have an equality, right? So an expression, it's either you simplify or you factorize. Right. So these are the main usual uh, instructions when it comes to expressions. So today we're focusing on simplifying algebraic expressions, right? So let's take for example, you've got 2x squared times 2, uh, x plus 2 times x plus 2, right? And you're asked to simplify this expression. So yes, I've seen the method that you use, most of you. you some of you call it the smiley face method where you say, because the idea is that you want every term in this first, first one to multiply everything in there. So you're going to say x times x, which is x squared, then x times 2, which is 2x, 2 times x, which is 2x, 2 times 2, which is 4, right? So in the end, your answer will be x squared plus 4x plus 4. Right, so in other words, once you have removed the brackets and added like terms, you have actually simplified the expression. So simplification, right? Simplification of an expression, of an algebraic expression, right? Means that you are Removing brackets, so this is one. Removing brackets. Two, adding or subtracting like terms. So that's what you simply be doing. When they say simplify, they're saying remove the brackets, add or subtract like terms. Right? Now, I want to try to do this simplification using the Chinese method, right? The Chinese method, because this is multiplication. So I'm gonna use the Chinese method of multiplication, right? Which is very pictorial, and maybe some of you might actually like it. So this is x plus two, so it's x plus two, like that, okay? And then the other side is x plus two, x plus two, like that. Then, it's just a matter of now multiplying the corresponding uh, terms. So x times x, right? This x here times this x will give you x squared. Then you go into this bar, say 2 times x is 2x. Then this one and this one, 2 times x is 2x again. 2 times 2 will give you 4, right? So now, it's just a matter of adding the two like terms. So your answer would be x plus two times x plus two is equal to x squared plus two x plus two x, which is four x plus four. So it means that with the Chinese method, it is very easy. You can see what you're doing. And like here, you run the risk of forgetting to add or subtract one of the two. So that is the danger of this one. Especially if you are to use three terms now in there, then it becomes really complicated. And like here, you can see x plus two, x plus two, then 
you multiply, 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 and then just add the like terms, and boom, there's your answer, right? Now, let's try to show the advantage of this method over the smiley face method, right? So let's say you've got x squared plus 2x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2, okay? I could have done it three times, th three term, three term, but I'm just going to use a three and a two term, right? So here, you're supposed to multiply x squared by that, x squared by that, 2x by that, 2x by that, 1 by that, 1 by that. You see how many steps? And because you're doing it in a linear fashion, you might actually forget to multiply one or two. So with this box method now, you just go x squared, this one, 2x, one, boom, boom, like that. And then x plus two is just x and it's two, like that. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times two, two x squared, two x squared, this times this, 4x, 1 times x, x, 1 times 2, 2. So the common things that you have are these ones and those ones. So your answer would be x cubed, x cubed to the power of 3, plus 2x plus 2x is 4x squared, plus 5x plus 2. There. You have it in a very simplistic way as opposed to trying to remember which one I have done, which one I haven't done. The probability of you making a mistake here is higher than where you can actually see what's going on in a picture form. So try this, the Chinese methods of simplifying algebraic expressions. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Unleash your mathematical genius today. If you have any maths questions, you can post them for free on www.mathsgenius.co.za or email them to info at mathsgenius.co.za.